In this video, we're going to be looking at transforming logarithmic functions. So we're going to describe the transformation of f represented by g. Number one, I have f of x is equal to log of x, and then g of x is equal to log of negative one-half x. So here I see I have that negative in front of x, so I know it's going to be a reflection of some sort. And then I also see I have this one-half in front of x, that's my a. So here, since my negative is with my x, this is going to be a reflection in the y-axis. And then since that a is with my x, this is going to be a horizontal stretch or shrink. Since it's 1 half, which is between 0 and 1, this is going to be a stretch. So I can say and a horizontal stretch. by a factor of 2. So I take my a and I flip it. Number 2, I have f of x is equal to log base 1 half of x, and g of x is equal to 2 times log base 1 half of x plus 4. So here I have this 2 that's being multiplied out in front, so that means that is my a. And then I have this plus 4 with my x, that is my h. So I see here that I have that plus 4 in there. So that means that this is going to be going actually to the left. Because remember, we always look at that plus 4, which is just going to be the opposite of what you think. So this is going to be a translation 4 units left. And this 2, the A is being multiplied out in front, so this is, means this is a vertical stretch. So this will be and a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. Okay, so we'll get two more. So number 3, I have f of x is equal to log base 2 of x, and g of x is equal to negative 3 log base 2 of x. So here I have a negative out in front, so that means I'm doing a reflection. And then I also have a 3 out in front, so that is my a. Since my negative out is out in front, this is going to be a reflection in the x-axis. And that 3 is out in front, so this is a vertical stretch. by a factor of 3. Remember, we only take the reciprocal when it's horizontal stretch or shrink. OK, and then this last one, I have f of x is equal to log base 1 fourth x, and g of x is equal to log base 1 fourth of 4x minus 5. So I have a 4 with my x, that is my a. And that minus 5 at the end is my k. So that minus 5 means it's going down 5 units. So I can say this is a translation 5 units down. And this time my a is with my x. So this is going to be a horizontal stretch or shrink. Since 4 is greater than 1, this is going to be a horizontal shrink. So I can say a horizontal shrink by a factor of one-fourth. Remember, we take that reciprocal.